I'm Marissa Hutchinson from Barbados. I am a board member of the organization Equals and I work with the LGBT community in Barbados with a focus on LBQ women. So during my chemistry bachelor's degree, I got involved with issues of women and girls on campus with the Institute for Gender and Development. And then later I volunteered in the area of domestic violence with women survivors and also their children. And then I continued to work in different groups of women and girls, and especially working with the LGBTI community in Barbados um, later where I started to focus specifically on the invisibility of LBQ women within Barbados and within the region. I have never encountered threats per se, but in terms of working with LBQ women or even just the LGBTI community in Barbados, I find that you know there's a bit of stigma in terms of your focusing on a minority group and in terms of the context of Barbados, whereas we're considered quite religious, the issue is that it's not something that others are open to, the, the Barbadian community. So I will kind of get pushback from persons within community, within the community, within the community. Right. <laughs> what I would like to achieve is in a way legislative in terms of like equality acts or anti-discrimination acts for persons identifying as lesbian, bisexual, gay, trans within our community, but also to make the lives and the experiences of lesbian, bisexual women and queer women visible. So in terms of even within healthcare, within the justice system, whether it's through violence or just simple acts of discrimination, given their experiences, visibility for persons to understand that yes, they too have similar experiences to everyone else in society. Um, for a more just society, uh, where everyone could be not just tolerant, but acceptable of everyone's different views, the way persons express themselves, and the just the way persons live and love.